Hi, I'm Suchitra, co-founder of Level, and she's Ashwita, another co-founder of Level. So here we are to share our startup entrepreneurial journey, and we'll also share about little of our hurdles faced and the solutions we figured out. And the, we are going to start now. Ashwita will be taking over the most of the speech. So hi, everyone. Uh, basically, we are both sisters, first cousins. Uh, to just give you a brief of our life and then a perspective of our life and then we'll st step into our entrepreneurship journey. We both have been raised in a joint family uh, of 18 members in a family and then uh, our parents are into family business of chemical industry so we have been raised in a setup where everyone is talking about business day in day out so we have been used to business perspectives in some of it so when we both were in our final year of our engineering is when we wanted to start our journey into entrepreneurship so we have started our journey as student entrepreneurs just like most of you are students we were in our final year and then we wanted to start our journey as entrepreneurs so we were discussing many ideas uh, of you know this might be a necessity that we wanted to start this might be a necessity that we wanted to start so the first idea that we had was uh, venues so there were many function halls and then uh, banquet halls all this but there were th there was no place where we can search or book them if want if we wanted to do it so we named this idea Dawit. Um, because we are from Hyderabad, we wanted to use some term which is from here. So we named the idea Dawat and we started working on it. So we had got great uh, compliments and everything for the idea. We had uh, good support from the family too, but the only thing was um, not many of them were interested to register their venues onto a technology platform and then get money through um, uh, uh, payment gateways because uh, most of it was um, the dealings were happening in cash so they were not um, happy to register this and get this as a white money so that's where we have pay failed and we didn't get many of our clients and then um, the idea failed we couldn't get uh, much clients and everything for it so we again started thinking so like that there were three to four ideas that we couldn't work Sorry? it out okay. level was an idea that we had where uh, we were focused on peer-to-peer okay, okay. -peer online learning. There was no online learning back then. That This is um, in 2016 that I'm talking about. So not many of them knew what online learning is or video call, uh, people, teacher and student joining over a video call and learning. Not many of them knew about it. So we had this idea. We wanted to start it. Uh, initially, we have pivoted from ideas, but this idea, we were sure that it would work out. But later we understood that it is not the idea, but every idea should have a revenue model or a business model, which we didn't have. We were just connecting students and teachers, but we didn't have any money coming through it. Just like uh, the previous speaker told, um, we were doing entrepreneurship for some kind of money, although we wanted to do so much for the society and everything, but money is a primary aspect to build on an organization or to develop any company. So we didn't have a business model. So we, we, pivot, we didn't pivot the idea, but we have pivoted different business models of it. So eventually we have started this company and fortunately today is the day four years back when we had our first paying client. Uh, I still remember uh, when we had the client, we were one of the happiest persons because we thought that, okay, someone is paying for us, so there is something in it, so we have to pursue it forward. So we have raised money from our family. Like I told you, our family was into chemical industries. So when they put 100 rupees into a business, within a month or within a week, they would get, a, get return back. So technology business is such kind of business, even if you put 1 lakh into it or 10 lakhs into it, you cannot see immediate returns from it. It's just the company valuation grows, the user base goes, you get a lot of data, but you don't get money so easily. It was very difficult for us to explain this to our family. So they were like, they were constantly supporting, but during our family dinners or everyday dinners, they would be like, you're doing a lot, you come in newspapers, magazines, everything, but where's the money? <laughs> We, we also were like, okay, we are doing everything right, but where is the money? So that's how we started improving our business model. So just to give you a brief, I'll explain you what level is so that you get an idea of what we are doing. 
So basically, we are a online learning comp company where we connect students to teachers. So name any skill. We didn't want it to restrict learning to education. So basically learning can be any skill. It can be musical instruments, it can be languages, it can be um, any form of art or, any, or even education. But education is just a streamlined subject or uh, something you do for a degree or something like that. So we wanted learning to happen on our platform. So we have various skills that are there on the platform that people can learn. So you can just come on to the website, search for a skill. Uh, say you want to learn French because you're traveling, you can just search for French and then within your budgets, your timings, you can find a teacher, have unlimited demos and then from whichever teacher you like, you can have a personalized one-on-one -on -one live class. So we don't encourage recorded classes at all. Our, all our classes are live learning and we believe that every learning need is as um, unique as a fingerprint. So we want every student to be catered in individually. So all our learning is one-on-one -on -one and personalized learning. So this is how we started. And definitely we take, uh, uh, we, we have teachers from all across the world. Right now we have from 15 different countries and we have clients from 20 plus countries. So when we have started this um, idea in 2018, we have a lot of clients, uh, especially from uh, different countries. So I would say like 70% of our user base is uh, uh, other than India, just 30% were from India because not many people in India back then know online learning and all this kind of things. So we uh, wanted, we, uh, we were present in United States, Canada, name any top countries, we have clients from there. But we didn't know how to market there because we just started our journey as students. We just got lucky with uh, four bad ideas failing. That's how we learned some part of it. And then this idea clicked. So we were doing everything. There were some in, some inspirations we have drawn from networking events from our parents who were already into business. So, but, the, but we don't know how to market in other countries. So that is when we thought, both of us thought to uh, pursue masters in US. Uh, at the same time, we wanted to establish our company strong there as well. But leaving a team of 20 members here, trusting someone to take care of the company and then go there, both of us, we wanted to establish as well as study was a difficult thing that we wanted to do. But then uh, we went there, uh, we started establishing our client base and everything there. That is the time when COVID yeah. happened. I think many bad stories for many of them, but COVID helped us um, especially to, uh, I think uh, March is when COVID happened in India and many, many countries as well. Our um, revenues grew by 200% in the next month. Because many of them knew what online learning was, they were afraid to go out and then it was very easy for us to start getting clients, teachers, everything. But the worst part is it was very difficult for us to recruit teams so that we can support the demand that we were getting. So uh, th this is how we have started. Uh, before uh, I continue my story, I wanted to tell many of them were uh, invited here by their uh, friends, family members, all of it. But I think uh, I would proudly say that we have been referred to this event by our client and our educator. Um, she has referred us to this event, to Bala Subramaniam, and then that's how we got invited to this event. And we are very proud that we have clients who believe in us and who have referred us to many events like this. And then the first year that we started doing this company, we got Best Startup Award. Um, among, uh, I think uh, there were 100 uh, startups which have been selected across India and we were the one who, who won Best Startup Award. Thank you. Um, so there were many uh, networking events that we were, uh, we were participating into and everything. But as everyone in this room, uh, we had an idea, but we ourselves were feeling inferior about it. So we were like, oh, we have just achieved so much. Why should we boost about it? Or why should we be proud about it kind of things? But I think we had uh, right mentors at right point of time who, who were like, uh, forcing us to go talk, go network with people, go uh, tell about our journey, expose ourselves, good or bad. I think two, three times we, uh, we might have even stopped talking on stage because of nervousness. 
think still Suchitra is in the same stage <laughs> because she is into technology. She doesn't speak much. Geeks are like that, no? I'm not a geek, so I talk so much. She's a geek, so she's very reserved. But jokes apart, but we, uh, we were very inferior about our journey. We were not confident enough to communicate. We, have right, we had right mentors during uh, the whole journey. We had very good family support, friends, and everyone who were encouraging us. So I think it's a good journey, not too many hurdles, but we have some hurdles like uh, whenever we wanted to recruit someone into our team, especially experienced people into our team, they were like, you guys yourselves are like hardly 21, 22. Why should we believe in your, why should, you know, it's like superiority complex that I have 10 years experience. Who are, who am I to listen to your words who don't even have experience? So people were in that kind of mindset. So to recruit people, to ask them to believe in our journey, to work for lower salaries because we were a startup, but to just believe in our mission and then what we wanted to achieve, we had some challenges in terms of entrepreneurial journey. Um, I think uh, that journey has helped us learn a lot. And then um, some of our learnings were like, I told you the idea that we have pivoted, the team that we wanted to recruit, we had that difficulties. And then especially we were part of VHub, the first cohort. Um, and then we were the youngest entrepreneurs of the cohort and we were the only student entrepreneurs of the cohort. So they have uh, always seen us like, uh, uh, kind of very young persons in the team and they everyone and we have uh, have always supported us we were part of isb d labs cohort and they have supported us as well and there's a company called emroads um, uh, who's um, uh, one of my distinct cousin and he has he has al also helped us in mentoring things so we had right mentors at every point of time because we have networked and one thing i wanted to say to everyone out here when you have an idea don't be afraid to go talk to someone because hardly anyone can say is no to you if you are um, confident enough to take a no, please talk to 100 people, it's okay, you, maximum you will get us 100 no's, but it's always good if you get one yes, you will get a stepping stone from there. So that's most part of it that we wanted to talk, you wanted to share any of your journey. <laughs> okay, thank you so much and thanks once again to... Uh, Thanks once again to Suja who has referred us here, our, uh, who is a teacher on our platform and thank you to Bal Mr. Balasubramaniam for giving us this opportunity.